and it's time for our second part of today's Money Monday. David Seeger from Great Lakes Credit Union joins us, of course. Good morning. And what else will we be talking about today but tax the fact day. that it's tax wow. day. You That's bet. right. Very big day. A lot of people have waited to the last minute. Have you done your taxes? I have. All right. Very nice. I have as well. But you know, extensions are an option. Exactly. You would get a form 4868. You can Google it. Uh, Google um, uh, IRS 4868-2012 okay. and it'll give you the form that you need. Do you need an excuse or do you just say, no, I need longer? It's an automatic extension. There's and how no long questions do you get? asked. Uh, six months. Okay. So okay. your tax is due on 10-15. Very nice. All right. So we were talking last hour about some common errors to avoid. Um, a lot of the obviously double checking the map, making sure you sign the return. That's Just a lot of simple well. things exactly. that people tend to forget. They do. Um, a few other ones. Make sure you put your social security number the on the one. check. Oh, as check well. as well. Right. Exactly. All right. Now we want to go ahead and share these. Leave it to David Seeger to put humor <laughs> into tax day. Bring it. These we are have some to. funny and crazy types of deductions. Let's go ahead and talk about this first one. The bodybuilder. Yes, the bodybuilder. Well. Now um, he wanted to deduct the oil that he puts on his body for competition, mm -hmm. as well as wheatgrass and special buffalo meat for his diet. Well, they allowed the oil, but not the buffalo meat and the wheatgrass. So that was <laughs> a non-deductible type of expense. All right, I like that. Okay, now we've got to go to number three. We this do. one had me laughing out loud this morning. Yes. Uh, there was an entertainer, uh, exotic entertainer, mm -hmm. and uh, she uh, wanted to deduct her breast implants as, uh, as part of her business operation. Well, she, t she took it to court, and, um, t uh, well, Chesty Love was her stage name. Chesty uh, Love. Yes, oh, and Chesty goodness. was able to get it because it enhanced her marketability, so that they allow that as a deduction, so she can depreciate them over the um, life of the, of the uh, product. And? But did they, did they lit her? Yes, actually? they did. She oh. won her case. Wow. I can't believe she actually took it all the way to court. She did. And let's talk also about the clown. The clown, yes. The clown. Um, he wanted to deduct his clown suit as a business expense. Right. And um, th so he had to take that to tax court as well. So what he did, he dressed in his tax, uh, in, in, his, in his clown suit, you know, the red hair and, you know, mm -hmm. and the nose and everything else, went there with his attorneys. The attorneys uh, were dressed in their suits and everything else. So his contention was the attorneys can wear their Armani suits for, for non-occupational type of events, but he could only wear his for occupational events. The court agreed with them, allowed them to take right. the deduction. Nice. I like yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, those are really funny. All right, David, how can people get a hold of you? At glcu.com. All right, thanks so much. David Seeger from Great Lakes Credit Union.